giving all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Akim, Yusakwanim, bishops, apostles, and elders out there, the brothers that are pushing this truth. You know, wherever you may be scattered, you know, unto all the hopeful elect, Shalom, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay? And we are the Israelites, the Hebrews of the Bible, and that consists of 12 tribes. That's 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, not just one tribe. Okay? And uh, by faith, we believe those to be the uh, so-called African Americans, blacks, Negroes, Haitians, Jamaicans, West Indians, Seminole Indians, Native Americans, Alliance Hispanics. Okay? We believe those people to make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel according to prophecy and what will happen to them in prophecy in the last days when you read Genesis 49 and also the curses of Deuteronomy 28, verses 15 through 68. Okay? So this is Psalm 77. It says, comfort and troubles from recalling the Most High's mighty deeds. You know, let me read that again. You know, and I saw that I was uh, at the at the gym the other day and I just looked up, you know, and uh, someone's plate, it read Psalms 77. You know, and it was right in, right in front of me, like as soon as I looked up, couldn't miss it. You know, so I said, man, that's the spirit, you know, because I go there all the time and I never seen that plate with that. With that scripture on it so immediately i went to read it you know and, and so enough it says comfort and trouble from recalling the most high's mighty deeds you know first and foremost we are to cast our burdens unto you how about shimmy over shy so let's get that <clears throat> This is Psalms 55 and verse 22. Cast thy burden upon Yahweh Shem Shai, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So whatever burdens that we're going through, you know, down here, because in the world is where we get judgment. It's where we go off. It's where we fall. It's where we catch hell. It's where we go through trials and uh, tribulations. But Yahweh Shem Shai is aware to this, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai knows this, you know, so what Most High wants us to do is to call upon him and send those prayers up, man. You know, keep, always be fervent in, in prayer, man, constantly praying without ceasing. You know, if you have to, go on, 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 on a fast, man. You know, read that again. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, no matter what it is you're going through, man, whether you need to move where you don't where you're homeless you don't have a place to lay your head at night you know whether you need a job to uh, make some shekels some money out here in babylon you know whether you're going through issues ailments you know family issues with your children your household your woman no matter what it may be learn to cast those burdens upon you how about shimmy shy you know because the most high is able to uh to uh sustain us man you know and i wanted this in the blue letter but it didn't come up so this is psalms 55 22 I want to look at this word sustain. Strong's H thirty five fifty seven. Cool. Cool. And that says to support, you know, to uh and endure, you know, to contain, you know, so you how about Shemiel Shai is able to support us through our trials and tribulations. He's, he's able to give us the strength to uh and endure. Okay, uh, another word there is uh, calculate, 
nourish, you know, so so that's beautiful, man. You know, the most I is, is going to sustain us even though we're going through this hell, you know. Apostle Gobar did a video, you know, responding to another person's video. Like, life is bullshit and this life down here. It is bullshit, man. You know, our, our, our women are uh, against us. You know, uh, our children are being raised by the, the state and uh, the moms. So everything is against us here, man, especially if you're an Israelite man. You know, you really got it bad, you know. But, hey, you know, you ha do all this, the most I is able to uh, give us the spirit to endure it. And all at the same time, while nour nourishing us through this experience that we're having down here and, and increasing our faith at the same time, you know, so it's, hey, you know, just got to endure, man. Endure means to make hard. So back to Psalm 77, it says, comfort and trouble from recalling the most highest mighty deeds. So that's what you got to do whenever you're going through these troubles, man. All right. Recall the mighty deeds that Yahweh Shem El Shai have done for you. All right, respect, re, meaning back or again, spec meaning to look. So look back. You know, all the times you called upon the name of the Lord, and the Most High was there for you. Recall those things. Thank you, how about Shemel Shai, and actually start speaking it, man. You know, the brother sent a beautiful um, message to the chat, you know, just to give us uh, words of encouragement. He said, start speaking it, you know, and, and, as it, and that's really the spirit because that was on my spirit, too. You know, because we're in a time, man, Lord willing, we have the elect. We're in a time where the, we're about to get instant prayers answered. You know, we're about to start winning, you know. This is a uh, this is a uh, Proverbs eighteen and twenty one. This is the Bible hub with the various different translations. NIV. It says the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Right, those who love life. You know, you can you can you can say the wrong things and continue condemn yourself to death. You can say the right things and you know grant yourself life. NLT. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. You see? <clears throat> so in the world, they may call it uh, manifesting, you know, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, we call it speaking it into existence. We're speaking into existence the downfall of the second leg of the Roman Empire and the ushering in of Yahweh Shai's kingdom and the delivering of the elect and the destruction of the wicked. We're speaking into existence salvation. We're actually speaking in, into existence new bodies, um, the new covenant to where we're not going to sin anymore. We're not going to go off our enemies um, being uh, handmaids and uh, slaves unto us. OK, we're, we're speaking into existence the victory, man, you know, but you also got to speak into existence <clears throat> these lesser battles, if you will, you know, whatever situation it may be, you know. Yahweh I, I know, I believe, you know, I believe the works from all the way going back to Egypt. And even the times I've called upon you and you answered me in, in my life, man. So we know Yahweh Shem El Shai is real, but it's very good to comfort yourself by recalling the Most High's mighty deeds in your life and the Akim around you, you know, the, the Akwa, the, the woman, whatever it may be, man. Okay? The Most High is getting ready to do great Miracles, okay. Psalm seventy-seven and one, to the chief musician, to Jedathun, a psalm of Asaph says, "I cried unto Yahweh Shem El Shai with my voice, even unto the Most High, with my voice, and He gave ear unto me." That's what we want. So we got to keep crying unto the Most High, man. Okay, I got a quick precept. This is Sirach, okay, in the Apocrypha. It's also called Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 35 and verse 17, <clears throat> the prayer of the humble pierced the clouds. And that's another thing. That's another aspect or angle 
that you have to look at in, in this truth, man. You have to apply humility. You know, part of that hum humility, you know, sometimes you have to go through humiliation in, in this walk. But it's, ne it's necessary to bring you up on a level of understanding, of knowledge, of, of, of wisdom. Hey, Yahweh Shai had to be humiliated. Okay? Yahweh Shai was pretty much humiliated. He put a crown of thorns on his head. Um, they said unto him, Hell, king of, of the worms. <clears throat> okay? The prayer of the humble pierced the clouds. But hey, the Most High loves humble people, man. All right? When you read the book of Moses, of, 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 of uh, Exodus, excuse me, when you read about Moses in, in Exodus, it says he was the most humble man on the earth at that time, you know? And look what the Most High did for him, you know? Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted, right? We're going to be, meaning we're going to keep praying until the answer come, man, you know? And would not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously, and execute judgment. That's what y'all by Shemel. That's what we want the most high to do. Execute judgment. Answer our prayers. Right? Destroy these, these people who are who are oppressing us. Okay, because that's what we're under. We're under um cruel abuse of authority by these Romans, man. Modern day Romans called called Americans. Okay. And and the uh ancient Roman Empire was known as the cruel empire of the Edomites. Okay, now we're in Rome all over again, man. Right? Psalm 77 and 2. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My sore ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered Yahweh by Shem Yoshai and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. And sometimes that's how you feel. You feel, you know, you feel overwhelmed. You feel exhausted. You know, you, you feel weighed down. You feel grief. You know, sometimes you cry. Hey, the scripture says, those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You know, sometimes you literally cry to your heart by shaming outside, man. You know? Thou holdest mine eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. You know, <laughs> that's how I feel. You know, I really relate to this scripture, man. You know? says, Thou holdest my eyes waking, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. You know, I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. Verse 6, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. It says, Will the Lord cast off forever, and will he be favorable no more? Because that's what it seems right right now. It like the Lord... It's uh, unfavorable to us, you know, but actually he's not because we have this word. We have our apostles, elders, teachers, you know, we have the brotherhood. We have the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, which is a form of spiritual power. That's only going to be magnified from here and now. It's the only way it's up. We're already rock bottom, you know, and his mercy is his mercy clean, gone forever. Thought his promise fell forevermore. Had the Most High forgotten to be gracious? Had he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Zillah. And I said, this is my infirmity. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of Yahweh by Shem Yoshai. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. And that's what you got to do. And that's going all the way back to the Most High delivering us out of the iron furnace. The house of bondage, hardcore, rigorous slavery, ancient Egypt, all the way up into this present day where the Most High woke you up, gave you this truth. All those times you call upon the name of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, the Most High answered, the Most High came through for you, the Most High blessed you with this, he uh, blessed you with that, he blessed the Akim around you, he blessed the Akwatha around you, he blessed your children. You know, the times you were sick and you were praying to the Lord, then the Most High allowed you to recover. You know, you ain't have any <clears throat> money to take care of bills. The most I bless you with a means to make money to handle things. The most I fix your car, allow you to get your car fixed, allow you to pay off tickets, you know, and, and, 
and just hurdle different obstacles and you and your way and different straight up miracles, man. You know, because we're dealing with Yahweh by Shem El Shai, and you know the things that we the Most High is about to do for us. People are going to marvel at it. Matter of fact, when you look up this word wonders, that's exactly what it means. You know, and of course that should remind you of what Marvel, the comic. You know. Strong's H sixty three eighty two. Pele. Pele. It says wonder, marvel. Okay. Wonder, extraordinary, hard to understand thing. Wonder of the most high acts of judgment and redemption. So, man, when the most, most high do these great miracles for us, people are going to marvel at us, man. Like, surely the most high is with this person or these people, you know? All these women that may have, you know, left brothers or kicked them out or put them on child support, whatever they, they did, man. The Yahabashim El Shai is going to perform miracles to make these people marvel. Let you, hey, it says in Edwards, then it shall it be known who are my chosen, our Lord willing. You know, Adoram Rath you know, I'll be part of the elect. You know, you sheep out there be part of the chosen. But we're speaking that, man. We have a faith. It's impossible to please the Most High without faith. Okay? And we don't walk by what we see. We walk by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Okay? Because if you just go by what you see, well, all this shit is temporary anyways. It's going to pass away. But if you actually walk by faith, you know, which is uh, the evidence of things not seen, the substance of things hoped for, we hope for the Most High's mercy. We hope to, to um, you know, to be delivered, man. We hope for miracles. We hope for marvel. Okay? At the online etymology dictionary, marvel noun, a miracle, a thing, act, or event which causes astonishment. Also, wonderful story or legend. A wonder, a surprise, miracle. There you go. Key word, man. Okay? Go down to the verb. It says, a person's to be filled with wonder, to wonder at. So it's miracles, man. People are going to wonder at the miracles that Yahweh Bashem El Shai is going to perform for us and is already performing for us, man. Okay? And all these wicked-ass people who are trying to slow us down, uh, hold us back, you know, um, trying to stop us from uh, teaching the word, Yahweh Bashem El Shai got something for them, man. You know, hey, Micah, it says, uh, then she that is my enemy <clears throat> shall see it. So we got all type of enemies, man. We got false brethren, agents amongst us, you know, wicked niggas amongst the, the, the body who treat brothers bad. You know, they had to get removed. You know, all, all these people getting ready to see that they that the miracles, man, and they are going to marvel. So let's go back into uh, the Psalm 77. It's a very beautiful chapter. You know, 12, I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Key word there is talk, man. You know, <clears throat> what we just read in Proverbs, you know, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So we're in the times we're talking of the most high's doings. You know, you have testimonial videos, you give your testimony amongst the body to boost their faith, you know. Strong's age, 78, 78, siach, siach. It says to meditate, which muse, which uh, means to think or speak, to talk, sing, speak. So, yeah, you meditate on these things, but you can also speak it too. By what? You know, you know, <clears throat> recalling it or giving your testimony to others to boost their faith. Okay, that's what this thing is about, man. 13. Thy way, O power, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great as a power as our power? It says, Thou art the power that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thy arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. And that's the north and southern kingdom. And that's getting ready to come full circle. Okay? Because we're all tribes are back here in this modern day Egypt. And most sides getting ready to take us out of this captivity and put us back in our land. Okay? It says, The water saw thee, O most high, the water saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. 
the clouds poured out water. The sky sent out a sound. Thy arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. 20. Thou leadest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Okay, and that's Moses representing, you know, pretty much the king and Aaron. The priesthood and Moses has made us what? A nation of kings and priests, man. And Moses is raising, the, raising us up again <clears throat> to be men, to be leaders, all right? To be teachers, to be prophets, to be servants, all right? Because Lord willing, we have the elect, we have the first fruit. We're going to be the governing body of, of this new world. So, yeah, just wanted to push that vibration out, man. You know, comfort your mind when you're going through any sort of trouble by recalling the mighty deeds of Yahweh Shem Shai. And that could be, you know, from the miracles you read in the scripture. You know, like when Elijah was hungry and the Most High sent the raven to feed him. Or whether in your personal life or whether, you know, you might see a brother's testimony video. You know, use these things and praise Yahweh Shem Shai and recall them because they're the great works that the Most High, you know, you hear the Most High do for other brothers, the Most High can do the same thing for you, man. You know, and we are in, a, and we in, are in the time of uh, great miracles, man. You know, one of my favorite scriptures, Second Edges sixteen, and verse seventy four, it says, "Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." Now is the Most High going to deliver us with wonders? And miracles is to the point where people are going to actually marvel at us. Like, how the hell did you get out of that situation? Hey, the how about Shimei Shai, man? <laughs> That's it. Nothing is, nothing is impossible to you. How about Shimei Shai? Nothing. You know? So, hey, with that, I pray this has been edifying and comforting. You know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Shai? Double honors unto your apostles and those of great millstone. Shalom to the elect.